All right, guys, welcome to episode 49 of Dope Talk TV. Is yours truly low key? Got John here with me, got yo, Toby yo. in the back playing some video games, got Milo right here fucking sniffing the stand. But yeah, man, we're back with another episode. <laughs> we appreciate everybody that's rocking, you know what I'm saying? Like and share and subscribing and hand that notification bell. If you're first, you know what I'm saying, watching this for the first time, welcome to the Dope Talk family. And don't nice. forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell too. But um, but yeah, man, episode forty nine, bro. We're cruising along, man. We're about to hit there. fifty. Next episode, we got to do something, bro. It's yeah, fifty. Yeah, Come yeah, on, bro. yeah. We got to celebrate, man. Yeah, That's we got to celebrate. It's been, yeah. it's been good, bro. Yeah, solid, consistent. We've I love been it. steady, bro. I like what I do. I love what I do. Actually, facts. Yeah, for anybody that's fucking wondering, this guy over here is direct to fucking Johnny Bull. Yo. He's the one that, that uh, you know what I'm saying, he edits all the videos for us guys. So, if you like what we do, go down in the comments and give a fucking big old fucking heart to John, man. Yeah, yeah, and tell yeah, him yeah. thank Little you heart. for editing, you know what I'm saying? Seriously. For yo. editing the videos for us. Because this shit ain't easy, bro. I edited a couple of them myself, bro, and that shit was I, it was not for me. No, That's all I'm gonna say. No, it's it's it could be trash. But uh, yeah, it's, but for it's, sure. Uh, but it's uh, you're always learning something. You know what I mean? Right. So I like to learn. So when I figure something out, and I'm like, man, like fuck, oh, okay, this is how you do it. You know, I yeah. just get hyped. I'm yeah. Like, yeah. You know, it's well, just one fact. of those things. Uh, but yeah, I like it. I do it for y'all, man. You yeah, facts. So, so, like I said, don't don't forget to to give Johnny a big old thanks. But um, but yeah, man, it's crazy. Like the older you get, you know, the wiser you get, and you know me, bro. I didn't give a fuck about the gym till about like nine months ago or something. Like, it's been like a year, I think now, something like that. It hasn't yeah, been too it's long. It's almost, I think, almost a year now. Yeah, but you know, part of that, part of going to the gym and like staying healthy and be, you know, and being fit is having a good diet, bro. And something that you brought up is how diets have changed over the years. Yeah. Like, you know, like, we're, we're Puerto Rican, we're Hispanic, and, you know, our grandparents, our great-grandparents, they lived a long time eating, like, different things. Like, they didn't grow up on fast food at all. No. Like, that fast food shit didn't come to, like, the 90s, 80s, whatever. Like, yeah, you know, that was later, later on. Yeah. That was our generation. We grew up on fast food, going to Wendy's, McDonald's, Burger King, all these fucking different, you know, places. Yeah. But... Yeah, man, it's true, bro. Like diet, dieting has changed. Now everybody's fucking allergic to glucose. Yeah. Everybody, like it, there's certain things that's just weird, bro. Like yeah, that's kind of weird to me. You know, I I know my grandparents. They they died at an old age. Well, from my dad's side, my my mom's side, they're still alive. So right, you know, I'm blessed. That's good. Right. Um, but yeah, they passed away like, whew, man, like a couple years ago. But they were in their 90s. You know, yeah, high 90s. Man. And I remember they. You know, every time I went to Norway. Uh, yeah, guys, if you guys didn't know, I'm half Norwegian, you know, Facts. Visco Bargain. You know Visco I mean? Bargain. Yeah, so, um, but yeah, they eat a lot of fish, you know, a lot of omega, mm. you know, shit for the, you know, it's good shit it's for good the for heart. Your heart. Yeah, 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 exactly. You know, it's really good for you yeah. and you live longer, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like you don't got fast food like that, like around the corner, like. Nah, bro. I'm not even going to lie, man. Like the days where I do eat fast food, dog, that shit makes me sluggish. Yeah. Like, I want to take a nap. I feel irritable. I don't, I feel like down, bro. I don't feel like it's giving me energy. I feel like it's putting me to sleep. Yeah, right now. I you mean, I just ate, like... ate a fucking Big Mac. <laughs> <laughs> Facts. I ate a Big Mac Fat right now, fuck. number one. And, uh, number one Lodge. <laughs> yeah, Lodge everything, baby. Go big or go home. Go big or go home. You know what I mean? But yeah, I feel like shit right now. I ain't gonna yeah, lie. bro. Like, it, nah, it, it, it takes its toll. And, like, you know, my homegirl came over here. Shout out to Becky the other day. She cooked some shit, bro. She cooked, like, some fish, some bacalao with some verdura and shit. Like, damn. she made some... She hooked it up, bro. And I was like, damn, after I ate that meal, I felt energized. I was like, yo, like... Yeah. I see the difference that ass in between eating a home-cooked meal and eating a fucking... Like, yeah. a meal... A fast food meal. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, like, it just real. hits different. Yeah. It's, but... You know what I'm saying? Different. Everybody... Everybody's different. You know, everybody... Is raised different, and everybody raises their kids different, which Ooh. leads us to our next topic, man. Yeah. And there's some fucking parents out there that just make some bad decisions, bro. So I was in I was in a hookah lounge, right? I was telling you the story. <sighs> fucking uh, amazing. Yeah, it's a restaurant, so you're able to bring your kid in. They're not gonna say no because it's a restaurant. Mm -hmm. But not even fucking ten people in there are eating. I swear to God, it's packed. We're shoot. We're taking <laughs> shots. We're fucking. <laughs> We're smoking hookah. It's like a hot box of fucking tobacco right now. No, bro. In this bitch. And I look over to my left and I see a guy fucking carrying like a six-year-old kid. And there's smoke going around, shots, you know, these 
um, these fucking bottle girls are wearing like basically nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like it's right. just, it's, it's not, not an environment for a six year old. Yeah, I just couldn't believe it. Like I was like, holy shit! And then plus on top of that, that the what we got going on? The yeah, the coronavirus. Yeah, the 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 sea. You know what I'm saying? The sea. The sea, bro. Corona. Yeah, the sea, man. That shit's around, and, and I'm taking a risk by myself. I don't got kids. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I, facts. like I don't different. got my kid with me. Like, you, you actually brought your fucking kid. Like, yeah, no. Nah. You couldn't find a babysitter, bro? Nah, yeah. It's not even about the, the Rona shit. Like, in my opinion, it's just about having some class, my nigga. Yeah. Like, if you want to go out have a good night, cool, bro. Do, you, do your thing. You're an adult, but get a babysitter. Leave them at your parents' house or leave them at your brother's house, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, leave them somewhere where they're going to yeah. be safe where you could go out, have your good time, go back home safely, pick them up, and you had your good night. Yeah. But that's fucking wild. I me, couldn't bro. I couldn't believe it. I had to, like, did I did I drink too much? Like, what the fuck happened? That's what nah, I wanted to know. Crazy. Like, am I seeing some shit? Like, like what the fuck is going on? <laughs> like, yeah, like No, but it was actually him, like. With a kid, and I was like, "Wow, like fuck. that's some pretty, kid. that's some crazy shit, bro. That's some crazy shit to to be doing with a fucking kid." Yeah. But talk about fucking kids, man. Mm. -mm. This Wayfair shit, bro. Oh yeah, this is Wayfair yeah. conspiracy, guys. We want to let you guys know it's all alleged. We don't know shit. It's all shit that's been going around. Just talking we shit. We have no facts. No facts. It's alleged. All right. It's all alleged. We but don't know. Supposedly, allegedly, Wayfair has been fucking selling cabinets and like night lights and all types of different like household items yeah. furniture furniture for like really expensive really expensive you know shit what I'm saying? $10,000 10 12 20 grand nah. for cabinets yeah. night lights shit that you could go to Walmart right now and get it for $3 exactly literally it's just, so it's, it's like fact and weird yeah and then the, the supposedly they fucking have like you know names attached to each cabinet yeah. that are reported or kids that are reported missing in russia and all this yeah other crazy you copy stuff. the serial number off the off the uh the actual link you know what right. i'm saying and, and you paste it in the russian uh search engine that they have mm -hmm. which is uncensored yeah but uh yeah it comes back to the missing person right so it's kind of like all right now they're saying you know that fact check thing that they got on facebook now that like if you share something and shit's not true facebook lets you know and says hey you know it's a fact check and it's not true. Welfare was not child trafficking. I was like, yeah, uh, how you yeah. know? When how do you know, to Facebook? That, there's money involved. I don't believe that corporations have ties to other corporations. So yeah, I don't know about all that. But th this accusation is, is heavy, bro. That shit's yeah. heavy, bro. Yeah. And if it's true, you know, like we said five times already, it's all alleged. It's allegedly speaking. But if it is true then it's some crazy sick shit that's going on, bro. Yeah, who knows? Because that means that there's a fucking company out here being sponsored by billionaires. Yeah. Billionaires own stock in this company, and they're fucking trafficking children under everybody's nose. And nobody, you know what I'm saying? Like, Yeah, that's too if much. If it's true. That's too much. But. It's very disturbing. You know, honestly, bro, it's like the older I get, bro, the, the less that surprises me, man. Yeah. It's weird, like. I mean, like, shit. That well, think about it. It's think, not far fetched. Think how perfect that is, though. It's, it's not, not, not far not, not perfect as in like it's a good situation. I'm saying, look how easy it is. Yeah, like, there's like, kids like out it's here so that, convenient, bro. There's kids out here in third world countries without parents, yeah, without siblings that could go missing like this and nobody would ever know. Yeah, nobody would care because they don't have any fucking family. They got no one to call. There's no. there's hundreds of thousands of kids like that around the world, and. Yeah, who who knows where they go? Yeah. There's people go missing every year that are never found again. Never found. Just gone. It's all up to your imagination, guys. So go down in the comments and let us know if you think the Wayfair thing is real, if you think it's bullshit, if you think it's a hoax, whatever, man. Just, you know what I'm saying? Give us your opinion. Yeah. Give us your opinion. We want to know. For sure. What's another thing you want to know? I don't know, man. Another thing I want to know, Marvin. I want to know why country living is so different from... From city life. That's what I want to know. Yeah, bro. Country living, man. I don't know, bro. There's something about country living, bro. It's peaceful. You're secluded. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You're far away from society. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know I mean, it's not for everybody though. There's people that can't stand being away from from people for that long. Yeah, they have you know to be saying? around like, like a lot of people. Yeah, or... they have to like be able to interact with their next door neighbor and all this shit. Like, I'm different. Hop out, <laughs> jump in the taxi or some shit. Like, I get it. It's convenience. You know, you walk yeah. around the corner. There's a burger joint right here. You it's know convenience. What I'm it's how you look at it. It's convenient to live in the city, if. That's what you're looking for, and it's convenient to live in the country. If that's what you're looking for, yeah. Like for what I'm looking for, bro, the country's the country's it for me. Like I'm actually looking at a house right now, bro, on some acres, bro. Like I'm yeah. I'm hoping to get that shit soon. Yeah. Cause I don't want to be bothered. Like yeah. I want to be on my property, nigga, in five acres. Leave me alone, bro. If I want to go in my backyard and shoot, I could do that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Definitely can't do that in the city. You yeah, that's what I'm saying. Blast you're, going, off. No, you're going to jail yeah. for like five years <laughs> for shooting in next to an occupied <laughs> dwelling and shit. Nah, for real. That is. That's that's crazy. That is. So it's like, I don't know, man. In my opinion, bro, country living is where it's at. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you if you end up finding an area where it's like you could own a couple acres, you're secluded, but you're close enough to a city where you're 20 minutes away from, you know what I'm saying? From yeah. where you want to get to. And that's where I'm moving to. You know what I'm saying? Like, Facts. I'm going to be like 25 minutes away from fucking Orlando. Like 30 minutes away from Orlando. Yeah, pretty you know much. Like, but And still secluded. You're right. going to be closer than, yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah. I'm going to be chilling. Yeah. It's not going to be bad but... at all. That's, that's, that's peaceful as fuck I, I prefer that Facts. that's that's not that's my type of vibe yeah bro country bro. living man yeah. so guys let it you know what i'm saying go down in the comments let us know what you guys prefer bro if you prefer country living or if you prefer living in the city yeah you know what i mean or the suburb whatever you know what i'm saying wherever you prefer living at yeah because i see some houses for like three hundred thousand, and you can see your neighbor right now yeah <laughs> there's houses out here for three hundred thousand. you get a quarter of an acre not even a full. Not even a f- half an acre, nigga. You get a quarter of an acre, and you gotta hear your fucking neighbor beating cheeks every fucking night because you're so close. Or arguing. Like and shit. I'm fucking good on that, bro. Yeah. I'll spend two hundred thousand on five acres, and be secluded, <laughs> and That's be true. good. Like dead That's ass, true. bro. Me too. I'd rather just be able to ride some horses or grow a fucking garden. Bro, I don't know, grow it, whatever the fuck so I much. want. Yeah, you yeah. could. Ha- you could have a farm, bro. You could have cattle. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you can fucking go mudding in your shit. I'll you can fucking ride four wheeler. Whatever you want to do, it's your fucking property. Fucking bro. helicopters and shit. It's your fucking property, bro. Four wheeling. For real, for real. But another thing I wanted to get into, man, is how, like, the Federal Reserve right now is having a coin shortage. You know what mm. I'm saying? Like, change is being, you know, there's a shortage of change. And that's the first fucking steps to going completely cashless in my opinion yeah you know what i'm saying i saw that shit and if you know that that's crazy that's crazy if it's gonna come eventually it's gonna come like people keep saying you know oh cash is king we've been saying for forever bro get your credit right because credit is gonna be worth more than anything yep like very true like this cash shit is gonna go away within the next like 150 150 to 200 years bro it's probably gonna it's gonna be be no more cash it's gonna be credit cards you know what I'm saying? Chips, whatever the fuck it is that they use at that time. Mm-hmm. But it's going to go away, bro. So Cashless society, that's that's definitely their agenda. You yeah, know what I mean? no. So, uh, yeah, I went to Wawa and I was like, man, like they had a sign on the fucking door and they were talking about, oh, sorry, only card. I was like, see, like money is an illusion. Just like we were talking about, you know, a couple of episodes ago. You know, money is an illusion. Like it's, it's just, it, it is what it is. Like that's what they want. It's weird though. Like what? What do you gain out of that? Control, more control. That does make sense. More control over. It's just... control, bro. Cash, cash is harder to control because you can stash it, you can hide it. Very true. You know what I'm saying? When everything's mobile and everything's online, it's easier to shut down everybody's banking system in the sw- with a switch. It's easier to fucking control. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just easier to have control over larger amounts of money when yeah. it's all digital. Because it's all on a computer. Very true. You don't have to keep track of it. You don't have to pay the Brinks guys. All those jobs are going out of business. Yep. That's true. Like, there's so many things that it is, it's going to affect. Like, that's what people don't understand. Like, one thing is not just one thing. Like, it affects another thing. And that one thing affects another thing. Like, watch, bro. Jobs. Jobs are going to be lost. Bank Money's tellers. Money's going to be gone. Bank tellers. Banks are... Bye-bye. Yeah. Banks you are gone. You could call online, bro. You could call... You don't have to go into the bank. They don't have to have five, six, seven bank tellers now. I'm telling you, bro. Yeah. She's going to change. They're going to start selling their banks and shit to, like, 
You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. Shit's going to get crazy. It's going to get different, bro. No more offshore accounts. I mean, you could, but. Nah, that's There's... always going to be it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, people are going to have that. You're going to find a way to have that for sure. That's true. But, yeah, man, cashless society, guys. Go down in the comments and let us know how you feel about it. If you think it's a good thing, a bad thing, if, you know, whatever. Just let us know how you feel about that shit. But yeah. another thing I wanted to bring up, bro, is, you know. The state of fucking hip hop, bro. It's like mm. everybody wants to be walking around with a fucking double cup. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, I get it. You know, when Pimp C and them came out, that was their thing. That was their swag. That's really what they did. That's really what they grew up doing. But everybody yeah. else has started picking up on it and like drinking yeah. this codeine and shit. Oh, I'm scissored up and all this shit. It's like, age. it's cool, bro. I yeah. guess, but not really. Especially when yeah. it's like. It's liquid heroin, and it it's not poison. only that, it's fucking co- like it's so expensive, bro. Yeah, and like, that's I think that that's part of like the real attraction to it. It's more about a fashion statement. Oh, he has a two thousand dollar cup. He has a three thousand dollar cup. Yeah. he's drinking high tech. He has a five thousand dollar cup. Yeah, that, it that it's about the hype. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. half the time, them niggas sip on that shit for two fucking minutes and pass it to the homeboy because they can't handle that shit. Nah, nah, <laughs> you know what yeah, I'm saying? Like, it's, nah, that's ridiculous. Um, you're sipping heroin, basically. Yeah, no, you're literally and sipping heroin. It's addictive. It's probably the best high ever. You know what I mean? I mean, I I don't, I don't know. recommend it. I've never done it. But I did it one time, bro. Uh, I did it once. Yeah. Shout out to my boy Woo. He fucking made some motherfucking oh, shit. shit and. Yeah, bro, that shit. Like, I just went to sleep. And then yeah. I woke up, and I asked him, and I was like, bro, like, I don't know if I felt it. And he's like, well, what'd you feel? I was like, yeah, I just felt drowsy as fuck, sleepy as fuck, and I fell asleep. And he's like, no, then you felt it. Yeah, that's it. And I was like, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you fighting like, your sleep. Like, like I he... just, that cup right there would have been how many hundreds of dollars? Like, he gave it to me for free because he fucks with me, but it's like, that would have been how much? And all it did was just like, nah, I'm straight, bro. Nah, like, it, it, everybody has their vice, bro. If that's your drug of choice, bro, by all means, you know what I'm saying? Do, do your thing. You do. Just don't fucking overdo it and end up, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, don't be a chief key for it or a dove. Yeah, bro. Don't end up overdoing it, bro. That's what anything. But, yeah. hey, man, do your thing, bro. If you want to go spend 1500 on a pint. Go ahead. Do what you do. That's you, bro. Just don't be. Don't, be a baller. Don't get caught slipping. Yeah, sleeping because it makes you tired. You're bro, not, you're gonna I've be... seen I've seen so many fucking rappers, bro, in the club, falling asleep. Like that to me, bro, is so sloppy. Like yeah. you standing in the middle in in the middle of 150 people and just nodding off, like you're a fucking dope fiend. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. bad. Somebody could run up, snatch your shit, punch you in your shit. Like what? They could do anything to you. You're yeah. falling asleep standing up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I'm sure that you got security and all this other shit to where that won't happen, but it's like, my nigga, like, that's a bad, like, to me, bro, like, I would never want to be in that state where it's like, I'm falling asleep in the middle of a club. That's how fucked up I am. You know? Like, yeah, no, that's no. bad. That, Control yourself, bro. Like, yeah, that's bad. I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. Yeah, I don't really, yeah, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't be able to sit, like, that's just, I don't want to be tired. Yeah, and that's that's why I'm 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 already done. tired enough. Yeah, I'm I'm done with the drinking like that, bro. Yeah, that's nah. another thing. Like, yeah, that should make you tired. It's just like I'm good, bro. The next day, I, I feel it more and more. The older I get, bro, like I, I'm just my recovery. Our recovery. Thing. That's what it is. Yeah, it's, recovery it's, gets harder. But I didn't need a recovery day before. I sort of got. I could go hard, oh, bro. Yeah. Go go to work the next day at five in the morning. Go to the good. gym. Yeah. Be chilling. But now it's like. Nah, bro. I like my sleep. Yeah. I like my sleep. Like, the other day, bro, fucking Trey hit me up at 11, bro. I was already knocked out. <laughs> you know yeah, what I'm saying? Nah. It's like, bro, like, I'm sleeping, bro. Like, sorry, bro. Like, Yeah. It gets, it starts to get old after a while. And you really, really feel like shit the next day. Mm-hmm. Like, for real, for real. Yeah, Especially you just, when you're older. Like, when you get older, like, it's not the same. It's I'm not, telling bro. you. It's, 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 your, your body bo- gets uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, your body's just getting older. <laughs> literally Facts. like your body's it's getting not old. Rea- it's not gonna react the same to the same things that's what alcohol that's what working out that's what uh, injury that's why when they say you know like when you're younger you're 14 15 you hear about somebody like 60 70 years old getting an injury breaking the wrist or something like you don't think it's that big of a deal yeah but at that age it is bro yeah you know what i'm saying like it, it there's different ages 
Where it's like shit starts affecting you differently. Yeah, you break you an break arm a, at 80. Yeah, you break an arm at fucking 20. It's not the same as you break an arm at 45. Yeah. That yeah. recovery at 45 is going to hurt a little more. It's going to take a little longer. Yeah. And you're going to have way less fucking mobility than you probably would get back from, you know, exactly. when you were 20. Yep. Like, that's yeah. how that, just how that shit goes. But Yeah, that's true. Very true. Yeah, we getting old. We getting old, bro. We getting old. We getting old. And that picture, man. I remember that yeah, picture you were talking bro. about. That shit really, I was like, damn, that amazed me, bro, to see your graduation picture and Kevin's graduation picture next to each other. Shout out to Kevin, too, man. Yeah, man. Shout my, out to my, fucking Kevin, bro. little brother graduating. Class of 2020. graduated class of 2020. Him and fucking Kiko, bro. Them niggas yeah. are fucking chilling, bro. Like, yeah, shout out nigga. to him. Shout out to Jet, bro. Yeah, Jet, man. I'm proud of him, I'm man. I'm proud of him, bro. Yeah, man. He did it for his grandpa and shit, too, because his grandfather Facts. just passed away and shit, so... That's yeah. sad, you know what I'm saying? A couple of weeks before graduation. You could, you know what I mean? At a young age, bro. At yeah. a young age. That shit always sucks, man. Yeah. That's why I hit him up. I reached out to him because yeah, I went through it at that same age. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, Fucks with so you. I know exactly how that shit feels. Yeah. But, um, that's true. But yeah, man. We've been back with another episode, guys. We appreciate everybody that's liking, sharing, subscribing. If you're new to the Dope Talk family, don't forget to do just that. Like, share, subscribe. And don't forget, we will be giving away something at 1,000 subscribers. So go down in the comments and let us know what you guys would like to see us give away. But yeah, man, it's been yours truly. Low key. Found.